Welcome to our New York Giants 100th anniversary celebration, where tonight we're going to talk about one of the great coaches in Giants history. Steve Owen's career in professional football spanned nearly three decades, leaving an indelible mark on the New York Giants and the game itself. He carved out a successful path as a player before transitioning into a legendary coach, forever etching his name in Giants lore. We're going to tell Steve Owen's story in just a moment. This is the Pigskin Daily History Dispatch, a podcast that covers the anniversaries of American football events throughout history. Your host, Darren Hayes, is podcasting from America's North Shore to bring you the memories of the gridiron one day at a time. Hello, my football friends. This is Darren Hayes. Welcome to another journey through football history. And I'm glad to be your guide on this journey as we talk about one of the great coaches in NFL history. Steve Owen not only starred while playing the game, he absorbed the lessons he learned on the field and put them into practice and innovated concepts on the, the gridiron when he got into coaching. Steve Owen was born on April 21st, 1898 in Cleo Springs, Oklahoma. He was the ambitious and resilient. His journey to success was not without his challenges. After competing at the high school level, he continued his education at Phillips University in Enid, Oklahoma. He worked on a cattle ranch to support himself, demonstrating the determination and work ethic that he had. However, his pursuit of higher learning was interrupted when he served in the U.S. Army during World War I. Steve Owen's journey in professional football began in the early 1920s when the game was still finding its shape. The NFL was only a few years old when he started playing, and they played their games on the road when he played with the 1924 Kansas City Cowboys, only a road team. And the lineman only earned a salary of $50 per contest for his labor. In a relatively short stature, five foot ten for a lineman, Owen's exceptional strength, intelligence, and fierce competitive spirit compensated for his stature and his unique qualities and his leadership skills set him apart from the rest of his peers. His journey took him to several teams. After finding a full-time road warrior, quite the grind, the 26-year-old spent the 1925 season with the Waterbury Hartford Blues, an independent team in Connecticut. The Blues had ambitions to join the NFL, and after Steve helped the team achieve a record of 10-2, and two, including two narrow victories over the NFL's Rochester Jeffersons, Hartford would earn a league franchise in 1926. But Steve Owen was not a part of that. He went and signed to play a final game in 1925 with the Cleveland Bulldogs for that one solitary game where the struggling Bulldogs were just trying to recapture some of the spirit that they had from a few years earlier. But it would be a springboard to his eventual pigskin roost. Steve played for a short while with the Cleveland Bulldogs before being sold to the New York Giants in 1926 for the sum of $500. The legendary Dr. Harry March had seen Owen play a year earlier at the meager salary that he was making, which barely covered the expenses barnstorming across Florida with the Cowboys. Yet this exceptional defensive skills could not be ignored. When Owen truly blossomed with the Giants, becoming a key cog in a 1927 championship run, his leadership on and off the field earned him the respect of his teammates and his coaches. By 1931, Owen had to transition into a player coach role with the Giants, the, making the start of a coaching dynasty with, that would span over two decades. His approach to the game was characterized by strong emphasis on defense and fundamental football, a stark contrast to the more flamboyant offensive schemes of the time by other teams. This defensive focus was known as Stout Steve's System, the SSS, It shaped the Giants' play and left a lasting impact on the game itself, revolutionizing the Giants' team approach to defense. Despite initial skepticism, Owen's methods proved to be game changers. He led the Giants to eight Eastern titles and two NFL championships, 1934-1938. His innovative tactics, such as the A formation that revolutionized running plays and the umbrella defense designed to counter emerging passing attacks significantly impacted the game's evolution. The umbrella defense turned into the zone defenses that we know in modern day football. So pretty significant indeed. 
Now, Owen's ability to adapt and innovate, combined with his unwavering fundamentals, reshaped the game, leaving a lasting legacy of Steve Owen's name. Now, Steve Owen's impact extended beyond the tactical brilliance. He fostered a culture of focus and teamwork with the Giants organization, a testament to his leadership and character. He was known for loyalty to his players and staff, instilling a sense of family within the team. This loyalty extended beyond the playing field, as Owen famously coached the Giants for 24 seasons on just a handshake agreement with Tim Mara and the Mara family. A testament to his mutual respect to the Mara family who owned the team. The innovator took chances too, with little things that he learned and quick decisions. In that 1934 championship game, now known as the sneaker game, he found himself on a frozen field. In a stroke of genius, the New York Giants switched to sneakers in the second half, gaining traction and defeating the Chicago Bears 30-13. This innovative move forever changed the game as NFL uh, teams always wear rubber-soled shoes on icy fields. Even to this day, uh, the cleats are rubberized to, to take that extra grip that's on the ice. Under the leadership of Coach Owen, the Giants would also claim that NFL title in 1938. As a coach, Owen's career win-loss record was 155, 108, and 17, as his team won eight division titles and two NFL championships. The G-men under his watch were in eight of the first 14 title games. Coach Owen's innovations to the game were outstanding, and he is credited with that the A-frame formation that we talked about, the umbrella defense, when he dropped four defensive backs to cover the deep field to neutralize a powerful Cleveland Browns passing attack when they joined the NFL in the early 1950s. He even participated in implementing the two-platoon system of personnel with specialists on offense and defense. Steve Owen is enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1966, the inaugural season. Now, Steve, even when he retired in 1953, he left a legacy far beyond wins and championships. He was pivotal in establishing the New York Giants as a perennial contender, laying the foundation for future success. More importantly, Owen's dedication to defense, his emphasis on the fundamentals, and his innovative uh, significantly impacted the game's evolution. He is a testament to leadership, intelligence, and deep understanding of the game can come, overcome physical limitations. Steve Owen, the Rock of New York, remains a towering figure in the Giants history as an innovator in the annals of professional football Giants. And we sure are glad that you were able to join us here to talk about this great and historic legend of the game and you know, celebrate part of our Giants 100 celebration for this upcoming 2024 season when they will be playing that uh, century mark of games uh, under that New York Giants emblem. And Steve Owen was definitely a big part of that. He attracted many crowds with his great play and the teams that he played on and played with and coached. And, you know, he made the fandom of New York and New York, the Giants, New York's football team. I'm sure glad you joined us. We hope you join us once again. If you get a moment, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and to the podcast, as well as checking us out daily on Twitter and Facebook. Until next time, everybody, have a great gridiron day. Peeking up at the clock, the time's running down. We're going to go into victory formation, take a knee, and let this baby run out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back tomorrow for the next podcast. We invite you to check out our website, pigskindispatch.com, not only to see the daily football history, but to experience positive football with our many articles on the good people of the game, as well as our own football comic strip, Cleet Marks Comics. Pigskindispatch.com is also on social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget the Pigskin Dispatch YouTube channel to get all of your positive football news and history. Special thanks to the talents of Mike and Gene Monroe, as well as Jason Neff for letting us use their music during our podcast. This podcast is part of the Sports History Network, your headquarters for the yesteryear of your favorite sport. You can learn more at sportshistorynetwork.com.